So it's been one week since I've had my gynecomastia surgery and there's a burning question that's been on the back of my mind. Is everything okay underneath this compression vest? Okay, so like I stated at the beginning of this video, it's been one week since I've had my gynecomastia surgery and no joke, that question has been something that has actually been on the back of my mind since I had the surgery. And the reason for that is after the surgery, I was so out of it that honestly, if I didn't have the video from last week of like the before and after of the surgery, I might think that it was all just a figment of my imagination. Like this doesn't feel real other than the fact that yes, it hurts and I have to take Tylenol every once in a while and like I have to be really careful, like I can't really lift anything. And I have this, this vest on that's literally gotta be on 24 seven for the next six weeks, well five now. I would believe that I'd never had the surgery. But today I went back for my one week checkup and the doctor removed all of the bandages and the pressure vest and I was able to see everything. But before I show you guys what it looks like one week after the surgery, I wanna give some more insight into the before and after and some things I kind of missed after because I was so out of it. And then just kind of what my life has been like in the transition post gynecomastia surgery from day zero or surgery to today. So one thing to note, I am already counting down the days until I can take this vest off because it drives me crazy. And on top of it, in the first week, you'll have bandages that kind of look like this underneath the vest. And the worst thing about that is, is it really pushes the vest out. So like when you're sitting at an angle from the side, it makes it, your body just look very strange. You kind of like, you get rid of your man boobs or your gynecomastia so that your shirts don't like have that look anymore. But then you have these like, pads in here that make it look just as weird. Like I was telling my wife, the one day we were out and I was walking about and I had a t-shirt on and I was looking in a mirror and I was just like, this is a very unfortunate body shape. <laughs> like it just looks really odd. And it's actually hard to hide. So like at work right now, I wear button ups all the way up, except I don't button the last button, which you can sometimes kind of see this. It rides pretty high. Uh, on the neck. But in the first week, I also wore a puffer vest. It was like this thin vest that I'd wear to kind of help hide the fact that the pads were pushing my shirts out and making my body shape look really strange. I didn't really want to draw any attention to the fact that I had had the surgery. I didn't want people asking like, oh, you look really weird this week. What happened? Like your body shape looks unfortunate. So yeah, I wore button ups and a vest all week at work to try and hide this compression vest as best as possible. Another thing to note is I had the surgery Wednesday morning. I tried to go back to work Friday, but I had taken some of the pain reliever that was actually prescribed to me at like 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. or something like that. And then I went to work at eight and got to work, immediately got extremely nauseous from like the drive and all of that and had to leave pretty much immediately from work. So I was able to go back to work Friday uh, in terms of like pain and discomfort, like I, I was able to go back to work. I kind of just didn't really time the medicine as well. Cause when I got home, took some nausea medicine, slept all day. And then when I woke up again, I went and actually read the bottle. And two ways that the medicine affects you is one, extreme drowsiness, which is why I was really tired and then went home and slept all day. And then nausea, which is why I felt nauseated. It also says right on the bottle after that, which I'm really bad at reading directions. Uh, do not operate a motor vehicle if you have taken this in the past few hours. So I probably shouldn't have driven to work or I should just not have taken that. I should have taken Tylenol instead. Don't really know why I took it. Uh, I can't remember if it was like extra discomfort or I was trying to make up for the fact that I was going to work and alleviate some of the discomfort from more movement. One other thing I didn't note in the first video on the after part is if you notice, I actually don't have drains in. And I asked the surgeon about this because I've seen different opinions online. I've seen that drains are good, you need them to help the extra blood that's going on in here. And then I've seen that drains are bad. And he told me that he prefers not to use drains because he hasn't seen any evidence for or against drains. It's kind of really up in the air. And the other thing that he has noticed in the years of him doing gynecomastia is that when he did use drains, 
it actually caused more scarring post procedure and in the healing process than if he just left the drains out. And he was saying it's a pretty bloodless procedure. So if you have drains, it doesn't really make sense because there really isn't much blood. And like I said, I had the gland tissue removed and some minor lipo on the underneath because I had some like fat underneath the chest as well. But now I will show you guys what it looks like one week after the surgery. So, uh, unfortunately this vest is extremely hard to deal with. You have clips, or at least in the one I have, I have three sets of like double clips, one on the top, one in the middle, and one on the bottom. This thing is definitely tight. Oh, oh, and it feels really weird when you first take it off. Whew. Okay, but as you guys saw, I had those huge bandages all across my chest that kind of covered everything. That was for drainage, uh, especially after the light one, I think the anesthesia, I'm not really sure what's all draining, but it was basically for drainage. But here they are today. He took all the bandages off and I am doing pretty good. I will have to say, this doesn't look too bad. I do have this bandage right here, which that's actually from a lipo incision. So when he pulled the bandages off, the tape is like the waterproof tape and it's really stuck to your skin. Like I haven't showered yet since taking this off. It, I can still feel like it feels really strange where all the tape was on my skin and stuff like that. And when he pulled the tape off, it actually pulled the scab off for that lipo incision. So it started bleeding. So you just put a gauze on, probably take it off in a little bit. It should be good, but it feels really good. It does feel extremely strained. So I'll give a tip for anybody who's getting the surgery. Once you have the bandages removed, you've obviously gotten used to wearing this vest for a week with the bandages on. So then once you take the bandages off, it actually feels a lot tighter on your chest and your shoulders. Like it's pulling on my shoulders. This is a small vest. It's gonna feel a lot tighter because those bandages were creating some space. What you didn't see in the, the photo of the bandages is that I actually had two more drainage bandages down here, but in my instructions, it said you could shower after 72 hours. And then on the fourth day, you were supposed to shower without the vest on. I took the vest off to shower on I think like the fifth or sixth day, so like yesterday or the day before. And those bandages weren't taped and they fell out and it kind of made me panic. So I immediately put the vest back on and just showered with the vest on again and was like, I'm gonna wait until the surgeon clears me and says that these bandages are all good and I can like take the vest off and shower with the vest off, which I am cleared. So after one week, you are for sure guaranteed that you can shower with the vest off, you can wash the vest, but that's the only time it's supposed to be off. Like even now, I shouldn't have this off for very long. So I'm gonna button this back up really quick and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, so I am back with the vest on. And another thing to note really quick, for those of you who are wondering or curious about the surgery, maybe you're going to get it and you wanna see kind of how things are going, I am wearing this cutoff right now because all day since I've gotten the surgery every day, it's been really baggy, like long shirts, this compression vest, which is like a 24 seven shirt. And it's just like this feeling of like, I need to air out. <laughs> like I just need to kind of like, I wish I could take this off for like an hour or more. But like I said, it's got to stay on for the next six weeks. So it's going to stay on and that's just the way it is. So that's it for my one week update on the gynecomastia surgery. If you guys like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to follow me along in my gynecomastia journey. And if you wanna get updates of when I upload immediately, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.